Hey guys, it's Marshall from Going Gear, and today we're going to take a look at an updated version of the Olight M31. This is the M3X Triton. It's using the Cree XML LED instead of the luminous SST50 that was in the original M31. Gives you more output, better throw, because it is a smaller LED. So here's the light itself. We're going to set that to the side for right now. The other stuff you get in here, manual, here's an extension piece. We're going to use that, so we're going to set that to the side as well. Spare O-rings, nice holster. This right here is a uh, battery tube, so if you have it in the default configuration, it'll take either three CR123s or two 18500 batteries. If you're using three CR123s, you can stick them in here to keep the uh, batteries from rattling around in the tube, just because 18500s and 18650s are a little bit wider diameter, so this will keep them from rattling around if you're in a tactical situation. We're going to be in my backyard, not a tactical situation, so we're going to leave that in here. It's also useful if you want to carry spare batteries around. Uh, it's a nice way to hold those. So stick that to the side. Like I said, default configuration without the extension on here. It'll be either two uh, 18500s or three CR123s. I want to use four CR123s, so I'm going to stick the extension piece on here. You can take the clip off if you want to. You just remove this ring right here, and then you can take the clip off. But we're going to leave the clip on for now. Put the extension piece on here. With the four CR123s or the two 18650s, you don't get uh, any more output, but you do get better battery life. So let's stick four Surefire CR123s in here. Put the tail cap back on, let you see that real quick. And then we'll show you the output of the light. Or the operation, rather. Output too, you'll see that too. So, the operation of the light, lightly press the switch turns it on for momentary click it all the way you have the constant on and you can see as long as you're just using that switch in the back it's not going to switch modes on you if you do want to switch modes head tightened is going to be your max output loosen the head you have your lower output now if you loosen and tighten it quickly it'll switch over into strobe and then just do it again and it'll go back to your regular output so you don't have to go into strobe if you don't want to but you can quickly access it if you ever need to. And then if you turn it off, turn it back on, you can see it has a memory for that. So if you want it to always come on in the strobe, you can do that if you want. So that is the operation of the light. Let's go ahead and take this guy outside and we'll see how it does outside. All right, we're out here with the Olight M3X. Got the big 40 mag light that I always use. So let's try out that mag light first and see how it does. This is the distance shot. That is my house that's about 50 yards away tree in the front yard that's about 100 yards 50 yards does okay 100 yards I can't really see anything so let's try M3X see how it does obviously a whole lot more light coming out of that at uh, 50 yards it's honestly a little too bright <laughs> and even at 100 yards you can see really really focused beam on this 100 yards absolutely no problem it can go a lot further than that if you need it to and you can see zoomed in you can make out all the details, absolutely no problem. So two, three, four hundred yards, still very feasible for this kind of light. And again, I don't know how well it shows up on the video, but even my backyard for about probably 30, 40 yards, the spill of it just illuminates everything around me. Uh, so that's kind of nice, not just what you have it focused at, but uh, a lot of what's around you as well is lit up. So there you go. That is the Olight M3X with the new XML LED. If you like it, you can get it from us at goinggear.com. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach us in the comments or at goinggear.com. And if you like the video, be sure to subscribe. We're putting out new ones all the time.